This router has no switch on its cylindrical body. The switch is integrated in one of the handles like on a conventional plunge router. However, this makes it a bit awkward to use this router motor in other fixtures than its own plunge base. I use this router in my router lift and also my panther router. To make this work, I made an external switch which works just like the one in the plunge base. I cut some pieces from brass and wire and soldered them together. And then I cut this little block of plywood with three grooves in it. These holes were drilled to let the wires stick through. Then I stuck the pieces of brass into the contacts of the motor. I filled the grooves of the plywood piece with epoxy and stuck it onto the brass thingies. I made sure that the epoxy wouldn't glue the brass or plywood to the router. Whilst the epoxy was hardening, I soldered three wires to the contacts of the circuit of the router base. I bought this as a spare part from Bosch. Someone with electronic skills could probably easily rebuild the circuit, but I didn't want to get into this because it's just too cheap to go through all the tassel. Now the contact was painted and the circuit was soldered in place. I found the right orientation of the wires by trial and error. Now a quick test and it works. I prepared another pair of wires with a switch on them and soldered them right to the contacts of the little push button switch on the circuit. The push button was deactivated with a dab of glue. And I made this little box to cover the circuit and epoxied it in place. Now the router can be used without its original base. And in this case it's completing the Panther router. This is a fairly powerful motor that can cut a 6cm long tenon all in one go, at least in softwood. <laughs> 